Hey guys, I'm Chris from the tech support team here at Kingston. Today we'll be going over the process of cloning your drive using the Acronis True Image Cloning software that came in your SSD bundle kit. Before we begin, we want to ensure our SSD is properly connected to your system. For desktop and PC users, you can install your Kingston SSD in your system before the cloning process. For guidance or help with the installation, please refer to your system's user manual or view our step-by-step -step SSD desktop installation video in the description below. For notebook users, install your new Kingston SSD in the USB enclosure that came with your bundle kit. Connect the enclosure to the notebook before starting the cloning process. Now that the hard part's over, first thing we'll need to do is download the Acronis software. To do that, we'll visit kingston.com cloning. This link can also be found in the Acronis activation keycard that came in your bundle kit. From there, simply click on the download Acronis link to start the download. Once this is finished, locate the Acronis True Image application and double click the file to begin the installation. Click on the install button to proceed. Once the installation is complete, click on start application. After accepting the license agreement, you'll be asked to sign into your Acronis account. If you do not have an account, click on the create account link to get started. You'll need to provide your name, email address, and a password. Once you've entered in this information, click on the Create Account button. You will be sent an email to confirm your account was created. Here you will be asked to enter in the activation key that was included in your bundle kit. Now that we've completed the Acrona setup, we can now proceed to the cloning process. Under Tools, select Clone Disk and the Clone Disk Wizard will appear to guide you through the process. Select Automatic and click Next to continue. Here you will choose the source disk or the disk your operating system is on. It is very important to make sure that you're selecting the correct source disk. Using the wrong source disk could result in permanent data loss and you definitely do not want that. Once you checked and double checked to make sure that you have the proper drive selected as your source disk, click next to continue. Here you're gonna to wanna to choose the new Kingston SSD as your destination disk. Once you have that selected, click next to continue. A summary screen will now appear displaying the new partition structure of the SSD drive. The original partition size will be automatically scaled based on the new SSD size. For example, if the new drive is smaller in size than the original hard drive, the partitions will shrink accordingly. If the new drive is larger than the original hard drive, then the partitions will be enlarged proportionally. Select Proceed to continue. At this point, you're going to need to restart your computer so the cloning process can continue. Now that the cloning process is complete, you are now ready to use your new solid state drive. For desktop users, your system will be configured with two bootable devices. You must enter in your system BIOS to set the boot priority so that the SSD will be the first device your system will boot from. For notebook users, you are now ready to disconnect the USB enclosure and install the new SSD into your notebook. For installation guidance, please refer to your notebook's user manual or view our step-by-step -step SSD hardware notebook installation in the description below. Thanks for watching. Thank you.